All right. So on this problem, we have cosine of 2x equals 1 half. So the only thing we really learned uh, to this one is to be able to solve for all solutions, not just solutions that are on the interval of 0 and 2 pi. But to first help us find this, we need to first to be able to determine what is cosine 2x equals 1 half. When is the cosine equal to 2 half? So we need to look, go back to our unit circle. And we say the cosine, remember the cosine of an angle is represented by the x coordinate ratio on the unit circle. So you think about when is cosine equal to 1 half? Well, there's two values we talked about, these two angles. And now we need to determine what are those two angles. Well, the first one is going to be pi over 3. And then the next one is 2 pi over 3. Right? So you could say x equals pi over 3 and x equals 2 pi over 3, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not asking, I want you to ask, tell me what are all the solutions. So I go back through this, and I explain this to some students last class period, and I kind of got pretty heated with them. So let's go and draft, graph the cosine graph. We have 1 and negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here is 2 pi. Between 0 and 2 pi, that's the distance of the unit circle, right? And that's what we kind of call our initial period. So this is, that's 2 pi, that's pi. So if our graph is going to look something like this, oops. right? That's what the cosine graph, the initial period of the cosine graph looks like that, right? And what I'm asking you is for what angles does cosine equal 1 half? Well, here's 1, 1 half is right there. So there's that two angles, at 2 pi over 3 and at, uh, I'm sorry, at pi thirds and at 2 pi over 3. Right? My graph's not the most amazing thing in the world. But those are where, those are two angles when cosine equals 1 half. Yes? Uh, uh, 2 pi over 3 is negative 1 half. So 5 pi over 3 is 1 half. That is negative 1 half. Thank you. You're right. It's 1 half square root of 3 over 2, which is, um, that is going to be negative, right? Good job. So cosine equals this at, so cosine equals 1 half um, at the 1 half. Um, all right, so now where I lost my train of thought? Oh, it's not at 2 pi over 3. It's at this angle, which is 5 pi over 3. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's very, very important to make sure you have your unit circle correctly and just to make sure you have it up there. So yes. Um, so now my, these two angles are pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3, right? On, that's just on the interval of 0 and 2 pi. However, ladies and gentlemen, this, this graph continues, right? Positive and negative direction. So what we look at is, when is it always equal to 1 half? Here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. Do you guys see all the different solutions where it's equal to 1 half? Does everybody see all these different solutions where it's equal to 1 half? Now, let's go and take a look. What is the distance between each solution? So to this solution, to this solution, has a distance of what? Well, from here to here, we set a distance of what? 2 pi. Two pi. To go from this solution to this solution is? 2 pi. There you go. From here to here is what distance? 2 pi. Now, is the distance from here to here the same as the distance um, from here to here? No. no, it's not. It's actually a little bit more. Um, so what we're going to do is we need a way to calculate. We need a way to represent every single solution. So if I know that my first solution's here, to get to the next answer is I need to take a distance, add 2 pi to it, right? And then get to the next answer, I have to add 2 pi again. So the way that we write our answer when I want to say find all the real solutions, you have pi thirds plus 2 pi. And how many times are we going to add 2 pi? Well, this cosine graph goes infinitely positive direction and infinitely in the negative direction. So we're going to use n. And then 5 thirds was the same thing, 2 pi n. OK? And that was it. Oh, la, la, la. sorry. Thank you. Man, I'm just badgering this problem. So, sorry. 
we're solving not just for x, but the extra last thing that we learned about Chelsea was that we found out it was 2x, right? So we're solving for our 2x, not just the cosine of x. So now what we need to do is make sure we divide everything by 2s. So therefore, now my final solution is x equals pi over 6 plus pi n, and then x equals 5 pi over 6 plus pi n. OK? That is your final solution. Thank you. Man, got to slow down a little bit.